we got a couple more sessions in before then. Yeah. Um, so it looked like what she sent over though might have been some some things we've already worked on. I mean, do you have yeah, to do I'm stuff just kind of trying to backtrack on everything because. Yeah. Okay. Now I I remember I did something on Sunday with um with Mateo that was. Similar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The like kind of the completing the square stuff and like yeah. Is yeah, that, is that something you want to start so on today? I already took a quiz on that and like today, and we're then none of that's going to be in my final. That's kind of like the new unit, and but we just had time, so our math, I guess, just decided to start it. So, I mean, I don't really see any like point in like kind of doing that because my main focus is like the final, and that's not going to be on the final. Okay. So if that makes any sense, but yeah. it does. I mean, we've already worked through all these though. So, I mean, do you want me to find some new problems like these? Yeah. 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 For sure. All right. In just a moment, pull some up. Good. All right. Okay. So if you're seeing my screen now, I've dipped in a problem. It doesn't necessarily have to be triangles. You want to be able to set up some sort of a proportion here. The okay. first thing you might be able to do is just determine if they are similar or not. Okay. Got it. So you got to decide what numbers go where. Um, for example, like 18 over 25, is that the same as 36 over 45? Yeah. And one way to do it is to cross multiply. Yeah. So if you got a calculator, you can cross multiply here and tell me whether these are the same or not. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, they're not the same. Yeah, is 18 times 45 the same as 25 times 36? They are not, so they are not similar. Yeah. Okay, but we could do uh, another set of problems where maybe they are. Yeah. The challenge is always setting up the proportion a lot of these problems so could you try to set up the proportion here and i'll tell you yes or no you've got um some options i'll say i'm sorry uh what did you say matthew yeah asking you to figure out where you want to set up the uh, proportion here oh yeah okay um could i do 30 34 and uh 16 and okay. um, 34 over 16 that's fine yeah and it's seven really over eight. Yeah. Do those okay. work? Do those? Yeah. And, you're, and you're supposed to cross multiply. You're not supposed to just reduce, even though they do reduce. Looks like they do work. Okay. Yeah. Got that down. Now, the next stuff is actually solving for some uh, some some missing sides here. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, truthfully, this actually looks very similar to what you had in class. Maybe your teacher borrowed that from the internet. Um, let's first start by finding X. Let's see if you can set up some sort of proportion okay. for this to find X. Um, so the proportion I would do is um, X over 35 and 15 over... 15 over 25. So why 25? Um, I was saying 25 because it's like the flat level of the, uh, the shape. And, uh, it looks like this, like the same similarity to like 35s. I don't know. Like, I don't know, really know how to explain yeah, it. I mean, this one's not, this one's not really, um, uh... I need to give you the letters. Is it not that's... 25? Well, it's it's very deceptive. So let me let me put the letters in so we can see it. All right. Um, so if you're using a 35, 35 is S to R. Yes. Yeah. You need V to W to V, which is 25. Uh, so you do have yeah. it. You do yeah. have it. I just, okay. it just, it's, you can't just base it off. Well, it looks, you know, it looks the right. Like, no. Yeah. Okay. All right, why don't you try solving this, or if you're not sure, you can ask me some questions about how to do that. Uh, 
And you multiply the 15 and 35, correct? Yes. Yeah. So I got a X equals 21. Okay. Any questions on that? Um, no, no questions on that. Okay. Well, let's say I wanted you to find Y now. How would you set up a proportion to find Y? Would it be to solve Y? Yeah. I've kind of added Y in. What could you what could you use to solve for y? Mm, you could use y over thirty-five and and twenty over twenty-five. Good. You uh can you solve that for uh for yeah. y please? Yeah. <laughs> I got a y equals 28. That's correct. Good. Okay. All right. Uh, so good job on that. Um, sorry, I just uh, need to quickly pull up some more questions. Okay, yeah, a couple more here. See if we can have you set up um, your portion. Okay, so let's say we want to solve for uh, let's do let's do x first. Okay. Give me the proportion you might use for solving for x. Okay. And these letters up here do, you know, they really do play into it. Okay, yeah. Um, so I have a X over fourteen point four. Okay. And um and twelve over thirteen. So A, 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 and C are X. Oh. So how does that affect? So 13 the, over 12, sorry. Yeah, 13 over. Yeah, 12, yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead and solve this one for, uh, for X, please. Would this come out as like a clean number? Doesn't look like it, no. Okay. I would think it'd have a couple of decimal points to it. Yeah, yeah. So I got x equals 15.6. Yep, that's correct. Cool. Now let's do the same thing to solve for y. Let's solve for y next, please. Okay. 
So I got Y over 14.4 and uh, 5 over... Uh, five over twelve. Yeah, could you solve that for Y for us, please? Yeah. I got um y equals six. That's correct. Good. Any questions on that? Doing a great uh, job. No, no questions on that. Okay. Um, let's look for some other stuff that we might be able to do. Um, anything else besides similar triangles figures? Um. Yeah, let me let me check right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure I sent you two things, but it might be the same stuff. Can we go over like the second thing I sent you on uh messages? I mean, this is just more similar triangles. Oh, uh, I'm happy to. I'm happy to uh, to do some more like this. Um, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me just just find some more problems. Yeah, we could also work on this if you want. But um, hold on, sorry. I'm just saying. Uh... Here, let me. I mean, I I can find more problems. It's just okay. it's just easier if, if you yeah. if you uh, tell me, hey, I want to work on this. That way, I know where to go. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me, honestly, just anything from recently. All right, so the uh, fortune here is going to include a variable this time. Okay. So uh, go ahead and set that up, please. Uh, Can you do 11x minus 4 over... Uh... 70 and then this or sorry 60 over 50 yeah one of the problems here is they don't actually tell you which how to figure out which one it is um you think it's 60 over 50 yeah all right i'm not going to disagree do you uh so one thing you could do to make this easier to solve is you can get rid of the those the zeros there mm -hmm. and then you can actually pre-reduce this five with 70 14 okay. and 1. So it ends up being you, you diagonally multiply these and these. And that does look, look good. So 11, 11 x minus 4 equals 14 times 6. Do you want to try solving that for us, please? Yeah. And is this a a clear number too, like a clean number? Or it looks it... like it worked out pretty nicely to me. Okay. What did you get for fourteen times six? Fourteen. Oh, fourteen times six. I thought that was fourteen point six for some reason. Um, sorry. Uh, I got eighty four, so it'd be max minus four equals. Okay, so I got x equals 8. 
Okay. And that's all it asks for. So let's have you try it. Set up one more Got of it. these. Cool. So see if you can set up the uh, proportion again here, please. Okay. Um. Uh, can I go eleven x plus eleven over seventy seven, and then thirty over twenty one? All right. Now, I would recommend pre-reducing. You can pre-reduce vertically or horizontally. Okay. That's up to you. You can also just multiply. Wait, so you don't want me like cross multiply like thirty times seventy seven? You can. You absolutely can. Yeah. That's the yeah. that's the like long way to do it. It only works if you're allowed to use a calculator, you know, do that, but there are better ways. Okay. Um and then you multiply twenty one into eleven X and eleven, right? Yeah, it's just it gets messy. If you mess yeah, up anything, it probably won't work out nicely. <clears throat> so two hundred thirty-one x plus two hundred thirty-one equals um two thousand three hundred and ten. Yes. Yeah. And then. It does work out to a friendly number. Okay, cool. Let's see. So I got um x equals nine. That's correct. Good. Cool. The, the solving might be the harder part than the actual writing of it. Yeah. So we got one more proportion we can write. Um, I'll do 5x plus 11 over 88 and... And um, 18 over 24. Okay. No. Go ahead and uh, cross multiply, just like we did. And is this a clean number as well? Yes. Okay.
I got X equals uh, 11. That is correct. Cool. cool. Right. Any uh, thoughts or questions on that? Uh, no, sir. All right. Um, we don't really have enough time for another problem, but like, do you do you plan to like redo your your homeworks? I mean, what's kind of what are you thinking about for, as far as studying for your final? So my teacher will probably give me like a study guide of everything, but kind of just back checking like everything I was doing, I guess. Okay. I'm just please going ask. Everything again. Yeah, please ask for that study guide as soon as you can. Yeah, I will for sure. Okay, we're gonna stop there for today. So next week we're scheduled for our usual lesson times. And I'll see you uh see you then. All right, thanks, Matthew. All right, have a great night. Bye now.